welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a full face of Primark makeup. So I've created this look. It's like a bluey, dual tone, smoky eye with a really nice neutral lip. And yeah, basically everything I bought from Primark, it was all under £30. So if you're like me and you're a student and you're living on a budget, it is ideal. So yeah, basically I've got everything from primer, I've got foundation, contour, powder, highlight, eyeshadow, mascara, lashes, everything. So yeah, I hope you really like this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. Um, and you can find me on Instagram, also Brush Up and Blush Up, and Facebook as well. So yeah, let's keep this family growing. Hope you really like this style of video. I really enjoyed doing it and filming it to be honest. Like I really like creating new looks and really like using new makeup and I've sort of given my review of what I think as I went along. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get going. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the first thing I got is a primer. This was down from five pounds to two pounds and it is the PS Beauty Protect Primer Picture Perfect. So it says it primes, protects and moisturises, helping to shield against digital blue light. Always need that, especially with the filming and looking at my phone all the time. Oh, look at that, it's black, that's so weird. Okay, maybe it's got charcoal in or something, but okay. okay. Oh, okay, it feels nice on my skin. It doesn't smell of anything. But oh no, it does feel nice. It's quite tacky. I really like that in a primer. I hate the mattifying ones. Like, obviously you want your skin to look matte sometimes, but like, I really don't like mattifying primers. I really like like tacky. Oh yeah, I keep doing this on my face. Like, feeling tacky is feeling good. So now I'm gonna try, this was one pound. It is the brow pencil in blonde, I think. Yeah, it's in blonde. So let's have a go. So it's got a pencil on one end and a spoolie on the other end, which is actually really cute, you know? This looks way more expensive than a pound, but let's go for it. I'm just gonna start, oh wow, wow, yeah, it's very creamy. Oh, I like that. Oh my god, I'm so shook. Oh my god, this is so nice. Ah! Oh my god, how great is this? Look at it. It looks so good. It's so really feeling. Oh my god, I'm like fang in, but I'm actually really shocked. Genuinely, I thought it'd be a bit rubbish. I haven't used a pencil for years either. I always use a pomade, but wow, that looks so nice. Also, this is blonde, but it's so dark. Like, I didn't actually. Well, I mean, I say dark, it matches my eyebrows really nicely because I've got sort of like a dark blonde hair so oh yeah and then at the front I just kind of like brush it up should we go through with the spoolie see how the spoolie is oh yeah I like that what is your favourite brow look to do guys like I really like kind of natural looking kind of thick like kind of like you know I didn't draw them in like I'm not a but I feel like the editorial ones look cool and they're sort of like really bushy. I kind of like those. Yeah, I think that's all I want to do for my brows, you know, just... So when you're doing it with the pencil, kind of do like short little strokes, but oh my god, yes! Primark, what? You're coming through for a girl who needs some snatched brows? Yes! I love that. Whew, yeah, that looks good. Look at those snatched bur rouse. I'm just going to go straight into foundation and I got the PS My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick which is buildable coverage, blendable, natural finish, moisturising and vitamin E. So this is in the colour beige, shall we swatch a bit on my hand? It's the colour on my hand, it's like a little bit different to my hand sort of colour but when you blend it in it looks really good so oh oh my god it smells so nice Oh, it smells kind of like sheer butter. You know that like, really nice smell you get from like a really fancy moisturiser? It literally smells like that. So I'm just going to sort of draw this all over my face. And I'll blend it in with a brush. But I really like stick foundations, especially for summer. Because you can kind of put like a little bit on and then build it up. But, and it's just really good. Like, um, I've tried the Revolution one and the Maybelline one and I love them both. Because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a stick because it really does make you look a st
Thin, like I don't know how long this will last. Like maybe I'll do like a a test in sort of like wearing makeup for a day and see how long it lasts and let you guys know. But yeah, I think it that looks pretty good actually. See like that kind of looks like the normal sort of base I would go except for it's a little bit more dewy finish than what I would normally go for, but for summer that's ideal. That looks so good. You go Primark, you go. Okay, so then I also got a foundation and contour stick, the same one but in Rich Espresso. Ooh, what a name, love that. Rich Espresso, it's on my head, it's getting in the way. So I'm just gonna draw that on, the bits that I wanna sort of warm up my face. Do my nose, right over there, maybe down here. Then I'm gonna blend, girl, otherwise we look like an Indian tribe. What is this? Way this is definitely not sponsored or paid partnership in any way like I really wish it was primer come at your gal but it's really not okay so this is a bit weird it's not really blending very well Let me oh yeah so the other one was really blendable but this I don't know it looks a bit like kind of just like I didn't even put anything on it's either like just blended too much is that even a thing it's okay, maybe I can fix it with bronzer. So it's like really hard to work, whereas like the other one was really easy to blend, but this is actually so hard to... Oh, work into my skin, Give myself a little nose job there. What do you think of contour? I think I love liquid contour more than powder sometimes. That may need to be powder every day, just to let my face off a bit, but we can liquid lips in, hang around in pictures, mm, just from a brush over there, and just look so good. Right, okay, so, I mean, I'm not loving that as much, but... 2,000 years later. Does that even look like it did anything? Not really. But okay, hopefully the bronzer will fix that. So, I didn't actually get a bronzer, but I did get PS Rose Quartz Highlight and Glow Palette. So, it's basically this little palette. It was £5. It's adorable. The packaging is cute. And then it's got these four colours in. So, it's got like a Obsessed, which is kind of like a light peachy brown and then we've got too much which is like also a nice blush color so sweet which is a really nice white sort of iridescent highlight and then we've got a uh, smoking which is a really dark one so what i thought i would do is use the darker one as a bronzer and then use the too much as like a blush one oh that's nice it's very like shimmery and oh it looks really it looks a lot lighter than what i thought and then this is the obsessed is it obsessed? Yeah. Which is like a bit peachier and definitely good for like your body glow in the summer. And then we've got Too Much, which yeah, that's definitely like a pinky blushy colour. And then we've got this really nice, oh, that's gorgeous. So sweet. That one is definitely my fave. So yeah, I think I'm just going to take my brush for bronzer, which is just like a really thick powder brush. Going to go into smoking here. This kind of looks like the Beauty Bay palettes, you know. I feel like a lot of Primark stuff, oh, that's nice, like a shimmery bronzer. Oh, that's really nice. It's a bit lighter than what I would normally go for, but it looks really nice. So, I feel like Primark stuff all just looks like dupes of things. Like the little palette that I bought looks exactly like a Huda Beauty palette, but obviously it doesn't cost a million pounds. And then, like, remember when Kylie Jenner, uh, not Kylie Jenner, when Kim brought out like, the really nice contour kit that had like a little sponge in it, like a nipple, like I swear. Then they did, the Primark did exactly the same. I'm gonna layer this up a bit to make it a bit darker. And then like, um, yeah, they've got like lip kits, like Kylie lip kits. So it's kind of like, babes maybe get some new ideas, but I feel like, you know, everyone loves a dupe, so. Okay, so I think that's enough bronzer. That looks really nice. Oh, I like that so much. It's kind of like a bit more natural than what I'd normally go for. Oh, it looks good. Go on. Love a shimmery bronzer. I think Rachel Leary's bringing out shimmery bronzer, you know, and I'm pumped. P-U-M-P pumped. P-U-M-P pump, pump, pump. Fucking love Rachel Leary. So, and then I'm going to go in with too much. This, like, sort of peachy colour or, like, blush colour. And I'm going to... Whoa, I need to blend that. <laughs> ah! Just, uh, wow, wow. Very, very peach. 
I'm just going to blend it over my bronzer really gently. Because, you know, as we know, blusher can be a blessing or a curse. Let me just get my bigger brush to blend that a little bit better. Oh, that's better. So, yeah, I kind of like the sort of, like, flushed look that I'm going for here. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to leave my highlight for after, until after demise. But that is looking really good. The skin is getting there. Oh, it looks lovely. You go, Primark. You go. Next thing I bought is this PS Smokeout palette, which I really like. Uh, doesn't it look like the Huda Beauty, pal Huda Beauty palette? It looks so cute. And yeah, it's got like all these different shades. So I went for a smoky palette because I really wanted to do a smoky eye. I haven't done one for ages. And I really like them on a good night out. So yeah, we've got like a white. We've got a really nice cool like tone top, which would be really good for like your transition shade in your crease. Got all the silvers. There's like a darker grey and a black. Always need a good black in your palettes. Then here for like black with like purple and sort of blue jewel tones on, which I really like. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the pigment will be like or what the fallout will be like, but I'm excited to try it. Let me just zoom you in so you can actually see my eyes. Okay, so I've zoomed you in on my eyes. Look at my little pretty eyes. So, go in with that cool tone taupey colour that I said. Yeah, it seems good. The pigment seems nice. It's blending nice. Yeah, it seems, it seems good so far. So, yeah, I'm going for a really nice dark smoky eye. So I think I'm going to start with this. So, and hopefully I can salvage it, but this looks actually trollop. It's actually so hard to blend. Ah, honestly, it's not budging. It's shitty eyeshadow palette, Jesus. Cute to do, but I think not. Okay, right. I mean, I look a bit like a vampire. But let's try the even lighter shade so we can lighten it a bit more again. Oh, that's nice in the inner though. 2,000 years later. I've done my liner. I did that off camera. Has I actually lost the primer one that I bought. I don't even know where I went. I think it was £1.50 though, which is so cheap. But yeah, I really like how the smoky eyes kind of come along. I've sort of like got my black cat wings on. So now I think I'm going to bake, highlight and mascara and lashes. Obviously, primer lashes are the best thing ever. Then I've got my lips and then we're good to go. We're out on the town on a Sunday night. Okay, so I got the My per PS My Perfect Colour Loose Mineral Powder. Buildable coverage with matte finish and oil free. And this was in the shade Ivory. And it is two pounds which is not too shabby but i got my um my bake and define one is it bake no bake and finish one from makeup revolution for three pounds and that is the best thing ever like it brightens your under eyes it's white so it looks amazing so i wanted to get just like the lightest shade possible because i get like quite bad bags under my, oh god i can't get that open under like my eyes so okay so i got the lightest shade this ivory it looks quite nice well, it's very like stuck to oh no no it is quite loose i'm gonna start with a it's going everywhere it's like snowing in here oh okay okay that looks good it's really light which I like i really like light really light powder Woo! we've got a storm coming up in here really like light powders like when I, I have a white one normally and it look, it is gorgeous. Oh, I'm really liking the feel. It's really nice and matte. Oh, yeah, you can really build it. It's what's really nice. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just using a Morphe sort of angled brush. Get right up underneath my eye, underneath my wing. Underneath my wing. That was awful. I love when Rachel Lou just does accents. The only accents I can really do is, like, Welsh. Well, she can do Australian. Good eye, mate. We're just here in Australia while I do my makeup. I actually phoned my boyfriend this morning and I was like, Hello, this is your girlfriend calling from Australia. And I'm sure he thinks I'm an absolute weirdo. But okay, so maybe I'll put on oh, no, and that's okay. So I'll just leave that to bake while I do my eyelashes. So yeah, oh, God, my eyes are bright red. Wow that makeup do to me 
Okay, so as you know, I'm obsessed with the Primark lashes. And I've used two of these already. These are the Sultry lashes. I buy a five pack for £4, which is an absolute bargain. And I love it. So I'm just going to peel one off. You just want to get the glue. It comes with glue. I normally use eyelid glue, but I can't bother to find it. So just sort of put it on. Give it a bit of a blue. You've got to wait for it to go nice and tacky, really. But yeah, I normally just put them on and then put them on the side to kind of like chill. And then they're normally ready by the time I've glued up this other one. Okay, I can kind of do a text exercise in as well. And Irish, when I was in Dublin, I was obsessed. I was like, hello there. And because I, you know, my name's Siobhan, like, what more Irish do you want? It's so expensive, and I'm like, I really want to try them on, but I'm poor AF, if you want to send this one for free, help me get around. So, yeah, okay, right. The lashes are on. I'm just going to blend in my bacon, and then it's mascara time. Mascara time. Okay, so with my big fluffy brush, let's blend this in. Oh, okay, this blends really nicely into the skin, considering the sort of darker foundation and the eyeshadow did not want to move. This is blended really nice. I mean, it doesn't brighten my eye as much as I would like, but then I guess I didn't get concealer, so I can't really complain. They didn't have my skin colour, though. They only had really dark ones. I was so sad. But, or they have like really pink tones, but I, I don't like pink tones, I like yellow. Got to get rid of my bags, man. Okay, so, I think that's looking good. I mean, it's not as bronze as I would like, but then, I also didn't get a bronzer, I only got like a palette, because, you know, your gal's poor. I didn't want to spend more than £30, I spent 24 That's not bad. So, time for mascara. Now, this, doesn't this look exactly like Last Sensational from Maybelline, which is amazing, but, I mean... Don't copy that, I told you it's always a dupe. But okay, so this is PS Amplified, Def definition, volume, lift. I can see that in an advert, I love that. So here we go. Let's get this bad boy out. Oh, this was two pounds by the way, guys. Oh, it's one of them really spiky ones. Let's see, Let's see how it goes, shall we? Oh, no, that goes on so nice. Oh yeah, I like that. That is nice, it's not too thick. But it's also chunky enough that it makes your lashes look incredible. Yeah. Oh, so good. If you like these custom videos, by the way, hit me up with full face videos, let me know. If you like them, give us a thumbs up. You know what to do, guys. So then I can do more. I just want to be living my best life on YouTube, guys. It's literally therapy for me. After, you know, full day in the lab or just in a week. Just makeup and videos really sort it out. Okay, so let's do the top there. Let's do the lashes. Look. Hey, I really like a chunky lash, you know. I'm not like Jane Daniel. She really likes chunky, like spider lashes. I'm all about that. I'm all about the things, spell them big. What is wrong with me tonight? It's like Baraka. See who else is addicted to Baraka? Like, it's unreal. And you piss like bright neon. It's amazing. Okay, so that is looking good. I really like that. Now we just need to highlight, which is the best part of all days. And we just need to put some lipstick on and then we're done. They didn't have any set and spray. They only had like primer water as a spray. And I'm like, I don't want to prime again. I want to set it. So I think I'm just gonna, I won't set it because, you know, I'm not going out anywhere, but okay, I'll stop rambling, get the highlight. So we're back with the rose quartz. Rose quartz. I'm going in with So Sweet, which is the really light one on my Morphe highlight. Oh, wow, wow. Oh my God, that's amazing. <gasps> Look at that. It shines like pink iridescent. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, this is definitely my favorite thing out of the whole thing, this. This highlight is unreal. Oh my god. They have loads of also like highlight gels and like body glow. I think it's meant to be like the, um, it literally kind of looked like the body um, glow lava from uh, Fenty. But you know, we can't afford that shit over here. Okay, so last but not least, after you now put that beat ass popping highlighter on. What face was this? <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to do my lips, so, yeah, I want to use this one because it's more neutral and I don't want to distract from, like, the really smoky eye, so, yeah, let's try this out. I don't really know what lip cream is, is it like a matte? Oh, oh, that's nice, look at that, it's kind of like a, 
and like a warm brown nude oh that's nice it's giving me like exposed vibes from Kylie Jen oh it feels really soft on your lips what goes really nice with the eyes as well because it's sort of like a a bluey smoky that I've got oh that looks lovely brilliant this is the finished look and I actually really like it I was actually really impressed with Primark's makeup you know like as much as people are like, oh my god, I'm so impressed with them. Like, I'm actually impressed because they were, overall it was good. I mean, not everything was amazing, but overall it was really good. I think the brow pencil was amazing. Like, my eyes look like Anastasia Beverly Hills right now. Mm, 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 mm. Then the base was really good, like the bottom layer of my foundation. The darker one wasn't as good for contouring, didn't like that as much. The powder was really good. I really liked the powder. The rose quartz palettes, I really liked the highlight, like, oh my god, look at that, like, pink iridescent, oh, it's beautiful. But, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love everything, like, the bronzer was okay, the sort of one I used for bronze, and, like, the, the blush one, but then, like, I couldn't see those being used as highlights, so I'm like, what are they actually? And then, um, the eyeshadow palette was really good, but I think the pigment was amazing, but it was really hard to blend. I think once you get it going, it's fine, but it was just really hard to sort of move on your face. Oh, I forgot about the primer, like, the primer was just you know it didn't change my life but it was fine and then the mascara was good I actually quite like the mascara lashes are always going to be amazing lipstick I also love it it's such a nice colour it feels really nice on your lip I think it might transfer a bit but apart from that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want me to do more sort of full face of makeup or trying new makeup brands let me know because this was really fun actually I had a really good time like going around Primark today getting all my bits but um yeah, so if you enjoyed, please hit the big thumbs up button and subscribe and join the family of people who I've not decided what to call them yet. So, like, James has sisters, Imagination has Huns. Like, I don't really know what to call mine, but hopefully I'll come up with a name for them when I get more of them. So, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!